Let's roll. Hey, how's it going buddies? It's Rex. And as you can see in the title, today, I'll show you the ultimate optimization guide to boost up your in-game FPS in GTA 4. But keep in mind that, your PC has a limit to how much it can do. Some PCs may get better results. It all depends on your system. Okay, but before that, yeah, please just do that. Before the optimization, just look my game's current state. My FPS is just crap right now. Okay, so now, let's fix it. At first, check for any kind of update which is available for your Windows. Go to the settings. Update and security. And here check for updates. If there is any update available for your Windows, it will automatically download and install it. And if you have the green tick sign in here, it means you are fully up to date. And now, before doing any kind of optimization create a restore point. Go to your PC's properties. And press on system protection. Now select a drive and press on configure. Check this option and drag it to 5%. Hit apply. And then OK. Hit on create. Give it a name. And now you're done creating a restore point. Now we're gonna change some Windows settings. Go to Settings. System. Notification and Actions. Turn this option off. multitasking and turn these two off go back and press an apps offline maps turn this off and press on delete all maps Start up. Now manually turn all unnecessary programs off. These programs unnecessarily starts running every time you start your windows. Go back. Privacy. Notifications. Turn this off. Background apps. And turn this off as well. And lastly, go to gaming. Turn Xbox game bar off. Game mode. And turn game mode on. Yeah, that should be it. Now your Windows is running on the gaming settings. Now we're gonna disable some unnecessary services. Navigate down to the search bar and type msconfig. Open it up. Go to services. Hide all Microsoft services. Now press on Disable All. Hit Apply and OK. Exit without restart. 
Now we're gonna disable some unnecessary Windows animation. Go to your PC's properties. Advanced System Settings. Settings. Adjust for best performance. And check these two options. Apply. And OK. Now we're gonna delete some junk files. Open Run Application. The shortcut key for this is Windows plus R. Type temp and hit enter. Delete all the files. Don't worry, these are all unnecessary programs and deleting these won't cause any issue for your system. Again open run and type percentage temp percentage hit enter delete these files open run again type prefetch hit enter and delete all these. Open up your PC. Right-click on your Windows drive. Go to Properties. Check these options. and press on OK. OK. Now, we're gonna set a new power plan for our windows. Search for CMD and run it as an administrator. You'll find a power plan code in the description, just copy that, and paste it in here. Now hit enter. Open your control panel. Type power options. Choose the ultimate power plan. Restart your PC, and after the restart, check the description, you'll find a link there, just click on it, and you'll be redirected into this website. Press on Download. Now press on Start Download. This is the downloaded mod. Now go to your GTA 4 game location. Open your mod zip. 4. FPS increase. Now drag these two into your game directory. You can delete the mod file if you want. Now it's time to launch the game. Here are the end results.
And in case if you want to know my settings, here are they. Lastly, in any case, if you're not satisfied with the results and want to revert back your changes, navigate down to the search bar and search for Restore Point. Open it up. Press on System Restore. Select the Restore Point that you made previously. Then press on Next and your system will be restored. Thanks for watching till now, guys, it just takes a lot to make this kind of video, and according to YouTube statistics, only 1% of you are actually subscribed. So if you think it really helped you, hit the subscribe button, comment down how much FPS you're getting. You've watched Fierce Rex YouTube channel, and I hope you'll remember me. I will see you in another video, till then.